Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had a chance to see Paper Towns. Uh, originally I wanted to see this in the cinema, but I didn't have the chance. Uh, I'm only just getting around to it, but I absolutely adored the book when I read it. And it's just, it's a story of self-discovery and existentialism and transcendentalism. Yeah, they mentioned Walt Whitman. So when I read that, I thought, oh, something I can relate to. And it's just really a sensational story by John Green, who is an Indiana boy. Woo! Sorry, I just... <laughs> A little bit of hometown pride there, I have to, but he is an outstanding author, and he's one of my favorite authors. I don't know if he's written anything recently. The most uh, well-known of his work would be um, The Fault Within Our Stars, which, of course, was my fa That's absolutely my, my ultimate favorite of all the books that he's written. It is such a good book. It's just tremendous. Uh, I love this movie. I just thought it was true to the book and it made me laugh and it made me cry and I just felt like it was outstanding. I thought, I've got to have this in my collection. It's just, it's another gem and the casting was, I didn't know anybody who was involved with this one unlike with uh, The Fault Within Our Stars because the the main character in that one that was played by the same girl who plays Triss and um, the the Divergent series, I can't think of her name right off the top, but she's just tremendous. So she's just an outstanding actress, just uh, so young. But yeah, she's she's got chops, and I think that she's going to do well. And same thing with this young lady who played Margot. I just there was something really appealing about her. Same thing with the the young actor who played Quentin. And I thought all of the actors and actresses just, they nailed, they really did. I thought, who did this casting is absolutely tremendous, is perfect, is on point. And I just, I can't give it any, anything more than two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. I just, it was an adventure and I loved it. And it's just an, an allegory for life in and of itself. And she gets him to come out of his comfort zone and I just movies like that I just I adore and it spoke to me on a very personal level because of everything that's happened and I feel like I'm getting out of my comfort zone for instance I I'm I've joined a league <laughs> and uh yeah we were called the Rack Rattlers I thought yeah go Rack Rattlers woo but <laughs> getting a little bit pumped up on my team here even though right now I'm horrible it's just I, I roll gutter balls only but I'm I'm gonna get better I'll, I will improve it's just been a while since I've actually bowled but I'll definitely get some get some skill over time uh it's basically all I have to say about the uh, not with, what am I saying? The fault with other stars. Paper Towns. Sorry. So I had to say about Paper Towns. Um, uh, I've been doing an awful lot. I'm trying to, to do the best I can with, with Dad's room. The spare bedroom is going to become my room at some point in time. Uh, the bed I have in here, you know, I'm, I'm going to be getting rid of it. But it's going to be nice to actually have a queen, uh, a queen size bed for once. Uh... I can't really say that much else, other than I, I think I'm going to like what this room becomes in time. <sighs> I like to say, a nice time. Live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.